Hey guys, it's Melissa here with a quick trick on how to use glass can wraps in Silhouette Studio to make your own digital patterns for printing or cutting. So I've got Studio open here. I am just going to find my pattern. I'm using this one um, that has a bunch of ghosts and it is from Sofancy, so I will link that to you. So I'm just going to drag and drop it into Silhouette Studio. Um, because it is for a glass can wrap, obviously it's sized that way. Before I do anything, I'm going to turn off the cut lines so that I don't have all that extra data. So I'll just go to send and then no cut. Now I'm going to go back to Silhouette Studio and I'm going to size this down. So I want to size it pretty small because I am going to use this to um, print a pattern that I can put onto acrylic to make some earrings. So if the earrings are small, I need my pattern to be really small. Um, so that the pattern actually shows up seamlessly and scattered kind of on the acrylic. This is 12 inches, so if you make it about four inches wide and then tell it to replicate three times, you will have your full pattern there. Now I can select the entire thing and tell it I wanna replicate down. Uh, be careful when doing this because what happens is you now have, um, it's not nearly as scattered right here, so what I typically do for that is just duplicate it down and shift it, offset it just a little bit. And if it's really bothering you, you can use the knife tool here um, to trim this. Otherwise, you can take another one over here and just, whoops, I grabbed the wrong one. You can just, again, paste it. If you really want to cut it, use the knife tool. Not that, use the knife tool. Tell it not to auto apply. Trim down right here and then you can just apply. And now you'll be able to select all of those that are off the mat. You can repeat on the other side and I have my pattern. Of course, I'm only doing a small area because I only need a small area for my printed um, material. You can now tell it, you can either select it all <clears throat> and group, and then you can go to save or save as. So if you do save, I'm gonna save mine to my desktop and I'm gonna tell it that I want it as a PNG and I'm gonna call it, you know, ghost pattern for earrings. And I am going to tell it that I definitely want a transparent background. If you wanna increase the DPI, you can change that here. Mine's already pretty large, so I'm just gonna save it. So now I can use this pattern. So what you'll see, I'll go back to my desktop so you can see it. I now have this pattern here that I can bring into other um, programs and print. And that's exactly what I'm going to do on acrylic, clear acrylic, and then I can laser cut my earrings. All of the information, the description for everything that we just talked about is in the description below. I will link you to this pattern. I will link you to uh, the laser cutter that I used and the white toner printer that I used for the printing the pattern. Looking for more tips, tricks, and hacks in Silhouette Studio? Make sure you hit subscribe and don't forget to check out Silhouette You, which is my membership website. One-on-one -on -one chat with me, exclusive videos that I don't put here on YouTube, and a whole lot more. Not into that? That's all right. I got the free blog too at silhouetteschoolblog.com. Thousands of free tutorials that you can check out.